few places like it in sports, and there's a reason that Bill Self is 258 and 14 in this building, and it's because this crowd is as electric as they come. Tell you one thing, it's so loud, can't hear anybody, it's unreal. Moretti's a tough player, man. He can really handle the ball and make shots. He's back from the final four run when it came so close to winning the national title. An amazing job Chris Beard's done. Kansas is going really almost like a four guards, Bob. And they got a little more space in you know, them. We can form the bench. As a bookie finds the loose ball off the Garrett miss. Did not hit the rim, so he muscles one up with four on the shot clock and draws the foul. That's going to go on Jemias Ramsey. So Azabuki will go to the line. Uh, Azabuki needs a nation in field goal percentage, but the free throw line is one place he doesn't like to be as he struggled big time. Look at this right here, 78% leads D1. When he rings the bell for 15 or more, they are 24 and 1. But his free throw shooting has improved. The Hackadoke isn't quite the strategy that it used to be as he really has worked on that stroke well you know yesterday in practice going to some nba scouts ball you was here so he really looked pretty good had a nice little soft touch even that missed there had a little soft touch to it his size his size can be a difference maker in this game that was really a difference in the game with kentucky nick richards was certainly such an improved player that was a factor in that game big time and also heartbreaking Ramsey sets up Tyler Edwards and Garrett Matt Edwards at the rim. Eight to shoot. So I want the strength of both these teams is the defensive end. They really come after you. Texas Tech does it a little differently. They switch on us and everything, even though I think they're not going to switch as much on the picks here today. Ramsey, quick trigger. That's off the top of the backboard. The big time recruit Ramsey has had a solid freshman year. Can score in many different ways. Shot fake by Abadji. Got it. The play right there by Abadji. Do you young kids? Show that little shot fake. Put the ball out in front of him. Get him to lose that little thing he wears. <laughs> and then knock it down. He's rated very high, by the way, by the NBA Scots. They love his physical stature, his body. Off balance. And Shannon off the back rim. Shannon's a driver and slasher. They're coming off a big win. They beat West Virginia 89 81. And they were so official offensively, except they turned the ball over 22 times. Jump hook by Azabuki rolls off. And the freshman Shannon's got the rebound. Shannon from out of Chicago. He loves to drive. He, there it is. Plus, that's a big Azabuki. He says, Don't bring it in here, baby. Don't bring it in here. He's a great shot. He wants the ball inside. They missed them. Brown's floater. has been a real solid player since being a starting in that lineup. Hey, look at that fake right there. So he gets him up in the air. Look at little ball fake, kids. Look at that. Triple threat position. You can shoot. You can drive or pass. He says, I'm shooting. And it's nothing but nylon, baby. He looks like your shot, Bob. I saw you shoot one day. I got a little video of you. What, Shall pop, I show it? Pop a shot? <laughs> This kid really has played well. The two games he has started, he has been a major factor. Spaces the court for them a lot better. And they're not a great three-point shooting team. But this guy brings a dimension shooting the three. And what, what a coach this guy has been. Yeah, Bill Self, 17th season. Hard to believe he's been at KU for that long. And every single year, at least 20 wins. He's got two solid guys right next to him. Dan Roberts and Coach Townsend. They do a heck of a job. Very loyal, dedicated, and this program is elite of the elites. It's one of the best. Year in, year out. Texas Tech has missed their first five from the field. The next factor player, Chris Clark, the grad transfer from Virginia Tech, is up. He sets up Edwards. And now, that was a player that came back from their team last year. Much improved this year. Dotson. That's short. That's a bookie with an Offensive rebound. And he draws yeah. another foul. You don't have to earn your points here. They're going to come after you. Chris Beard's known for that. Seven years was on a staff at Texas Tech. Worked under the general, Robert Montgomery Knight. 
did a great job in Arkansas Little Rock accepted the job in Vegas uh, for a while there and then came back home not for a long while no nope. <laughs> You know, he barely got a hotel room in Las Vegas. And all of a sudden, he was hitting 11. I want to say this though: they have a young guy on their team. He's not been declared to play. And Tomway, Joel, Joel and Tomway. The NCAA has denied him his request. I have a difficult time understanding that because he had four other teammates at Vegas with him, and all four were declared eligible. Why not punish this kid? I don't understand. Could it be because Chris Beard was at the school and didn't stay there? And maybe they haven't given approval to the NCAA? Dotson with a steal. No one gets up and down the floor faster with the basketball than Devon Dotson. And he beats Bobby Dabby. He's explosive. It's the old baby. Dotson is explosive. Oh, man, can he go? We got a shutout here. We got a shutout. We're coming back to the fog in 30 seconds. Shoes and Dick Vitale, eight nothing KU over Texas Tech. Chris Budden is here as well. And Chris, it can be loud here at Allen Fieldhouse. A relationship between the two coaches. You talked about at the start. I didn't hear you. I'm not sure if anybody at home did. Yeah, let me tell you a little bit about the friendship dating back 20 years between Self and Beard. Beard considers him a mentor for a long time. He studies his play calling, particularly his out of timeout plays. He says, I even know what he's going to do, and he still beats me at it. He says, Sometimes you learn more, and I swear he gives me a win. Bill says he doesn't, but something to watch for. Nobody's better. Out of timeouts, running a set play, and Kansas under Bill Self. Edwards picks up his dribble. Wide open, Holyfield. And Dotson's got the rebound. Still, Texas Tech can't get on the board. Oh, she put the ball. They made some big threes. 11 of them against West Virginia. Having a little struggle here. Kansas is tough defensively, man. They really play. And they're making shots like that to combine with their defense. That's a formula to go to the winner's lock to win. Only field again. There's a he's a 18 footer that goes down. 50 year transfer came from Stephen F. Austin, the school fame for their big win to end that 150 game win streak against non conference teams at Cameron. We talked about the job right under what is now doing in Illinois. That was the legacy that he helped set up. That's Stephen F. Austin. And Bonji the corner again. looks like he's got a shot going down. I'll tell you one thing. This is going to be a team so tough to deal with come March. They get better and better and better. What a pick and roll. And Holyfield will go to the line. Let me tell down. you about respect. Respect for Chris Beard. Roy Williams, after he lost to Clemson, he visited Texas Tech to get a little bit more familiar with many of the things they do defensively. Well, we're going to get you more familiar with some of the legends that have played here when we come back.
Sports exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by five hour energy shots energy on the go just down the hallway here at the fog the rules the original rules from Dr. James Naismith are under glass and boy Dick Vitale talking about the legends that have played in this building and for this program you know when I look at all these guys coach your wife or Chamberlain Lynette Wood who was a terrific player I have a problem, Danny Manning, Mr. Versatility, led him to that championship. Paul Pierce, he was so special. Dick Collis, and I gave him a standard ovation, one of two in my life. Because he had such a game rebound in a game I was here. Couldn't believe his effort. But let me share this. We never hear the name Will Chamberlain when you talk about the best ever to play. I mean, think about his numbers. 50 points and 25 rebounds a game. Not one time, a game average. Yet you never hear his name. He was such a physical force. Dominant. I'm not saying nothing. Certainly have all the great respect for him. Jordan's name and LeBron's name. Magic, all those guys. But come on. They would even have to admit. It's unheard of. 50 points a game at 25. He was so dominant. He even wore unlucky number 13. I don't know that there was any number that would have been unlucky for Will Chamberlain. <laughs> Passed too early in his life, man. He was really... This fun guy loved tennis. Oh, did he love tennis? Steal by Garrett. McCormick is the trailer. Garrett does it himself. And McCormick, by the way, on the floor for the first time this afternoon after serving the two-game suspension. Silvio De Sosa will be out until basically the end of the regular season, continuing to serve his suspension for the fight against Kansas State. As Moretti can't knock down the three. Wow. I tell you, the early start here by Kansas has been so impressive. So impressive. And it's a number of players. Not one guy has a great bounce to their step. Problem so far has been the defense has made it very difficult for them to get good shots, Texas Tech. Look at that ball movement. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's execution. That's execution. You get the ball movement. You get the player movement. That tape in the local paper talked about how that was going to be essential in the court here today in the Lions Journal and how true that is. They like to funnel the ball to one side of the court when you talk Texas Tech and get the ball out of the middle side. That's and I'm telling you, they're Boy, taking it anywhere they want right now, Kansas. And their defense is certainly helping their offense. You're going to be here again Monday night with Jay and be down here. They play Texas. Texas now has won two in a row. Edwards connects with the second field goal for Texas Tech. Edwards. But if KU hits shots the way they have already hit shots, a player like Abaji, who is a streaky shooter, he gets on a hot streak, boy, they're going to be really tough to beat. But right now they're going some stops defensively. They're slowly trying to creep back into this game. You know, they beat Louisville and West Virginia. Those are really solid teams. They lost in overtime to Kentucky in what really was the marquee game of the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Well, I lost three games this year in overtime. They've been so close to having a great great year. Already crosses over. Once again, can't hit the three. And he's really a tremendous shooter. Bad from up in Italy as a player and coach. Garrett works his way to the front of the rim. Garrett is so underrated. He's a triple double ready to happen. He's so versatile. He is what you call a winner. He has a winner's mentality. You need those kind of guys that don't get a lot of headlines but help you win. Moretti able to English it off the window. Very nice move by Davide Moretti. You know, Moretti right now, sixth in the nation on the free throw line. He's number one in the nation career. I got a little zone here. Now, number one in career on the free throw line. And he missed two free throws in two games that could help them win those games. Kentucky and also the pool. You wouldn't want anybody but him on the line. You got to the Will Holyfield. Now reset to Jemias Ramsey. He pulls up in the lane. Leans in. Passes it to himself off the glass. And draws the foul. He's been under, they've controlled him thus far in this game. It's early, but they've done a good job containing Rams who could score him anyway. McCormick called for the foul, and three top 20 teams highlight a full day of Saturday college hoops here on ESPN and the ESPN app. John Calipari and number 13, Kentucky, take on Bruce Pearl, and number 17, Auburn. That's coming up at 6 Eastern.
It's a sonic blockbuster a little bit later on when we're done here. And then the nightcap of our doubleheader will be number nine, Duke squaring off against Syracuse at the Dome. So after we're done here at the Fog, two more great venues and great games. 31,000 people will be down here at Syracuse. They lost a heartbreaker last week to Clemson. You could use a quality win, and certainly that would be one. Nick Richards has improved so much for Kentucky, and that's why they're going to be a legit threat when it comes to watch man. It's good to got three legit point guards that play together quickly, Higgins and Maxi. There'll be no quit these kids. I'll tell you one thing, Texas Tech, they're going to battle and battle and battle no matter what the scoreboard says. That's a nice one down right in front of the Red Raider bench. They're making shots, Bob, and as you've said so well, you know this league really well. You and friends really know the league inside out. Bottom line is, when they're making shots with their defense, they are difficult to deal with. Moretti to Holyfield, who keeps it alive somehow, and Ramsey's pass deflects to Avery Benson. Helter-skelter possession for Texas Tech. Holyfield, a backdoor cut off his chest right into the hands of Jemias Ramsey. I like that help the skelter report. Yeah, that was help the skelter, but it helped get a deuce up, and Chris Beard jumped out of his seat. Just the way Coach Beard drew it up. Fear the beard. That's a play by the way in high school. He won state championship together. Grant Williams is now with the Celtics former Super Tennessee. Bouncing off the front rim. Here was, comes Moretti. He was challenged on a shot. Think of Moretti and knocked down some threes, and he's capable of doing it. Now look at that defense. Beat him right to the spot. Switch up on top. Look at that quickness on the camera. Garrett with a hand check foul on Clarence Madonna. Uh, Texas Tech, they're trying to make some friends here in the KC area. Patrick Mahomes. Of course, he was a Red Raider, so everybody's a Chiefs fan in the Who's building it? today. You know him? Yeah, we'll I never heard about that. We come back. <laughs> Who is it?
Well, we'll see if there's mayhem today in the Big 12 as well, but you got two teams that were both top 10 teams in the Big East at home today that both went down to unranked opponents. As Creighton did a number on Villanova, and how about the performance by Xavier against Seton Hall? Tip of the half to Xavier, tip of the half certainly there to Creighton, and Xavier needed that win. They came in 2-6 and six in conference play, and they took Seton Hall's 10-game winning streak and really shut down Miles Powell, who's been terrific all year. Great win, a must win. Stay away by Moretti, that's too strong. And Brown's got the rebound. Don't get any easy shots, man. No easy shots at all against that Kansas defense. Oh, that's a wicked one of the ball. They missed him in the post. They were swinging the ball. That's a boot. He seals inside. Shot fake. Jump hook in and out. Should have gone right to the goal and dumped that baby. Leads the nation in field goal percentage. Nice look by Clark. Got the reverse plus the foul in the building. Terrific job. Terrific job moving without the ball by Clark. And they find them. The one thing about these both these teams, they're unselfish. They will find open people. Now you watch the cut here by Clark along that baseline. There's the clock, and there's the reverse layup. Great team effort right there. Tremendous. Now you mentioned Marcus Garrett being the X Factor player for Kansas. That really seems to be what Chris Clark is for Texas Tech. He's eighth of the Big 12 in rebounding and second in assists coming off the bench. It's kind of that hybrid point forward position. He was a great pickup coming in there, no question. Came from Virginia Tech, also the Ross Blackshear as well as down there with Florida. Why well, make a prediction? Florida's gonna win six games in a row after their loss to Mississippi State, who's so underrated. They want to get under there, Reggie Perry, man, throw that man. Christian Brown will go to the line, but these are two X-Factor players that impact the game in so many ways other than scoring. Absolutely. They are what you call versatile players, multi-dimensional, and really help the team excel. Let's head over to Chris. Chris Beard trying to instill some calmness during that last timeout. He looked at his guys. He said, I want everyone to take a deep breath. We're going to have to chip away at this slowly. The goal, small milestones, get to within seven, eight points. That's where you got to play the game. That's smart. He does why he's an outstanding coach. I mean, this guy is so respected. I spoke at a big banquet down there, sat with him the entire night down in Lubbock. And it was so interesting just talking to him, looking about the game. Plus the foul. Bill Self's not going to be happy with how quickly Texas Tech was able to get the ball up the floor. They caught the Jayhawks napping. Yeah, that really is outstanding basketball. North Carolina for years used to do this, get the ball out of their net and get up and down that court. Nice drive right there. And if you're looking at milestones and trying to see if you can claw your way back into this game after Texas Tech had a really tough stretch. Overtime against Kentucky, they lose, but they bounce back with a big win against the top 12 team in West Virginia. That's Yudoka Azabuki's second foul. So he now goes to the bench. We'll see for how long. Well, they got McCormick. He comes back from the suspension, so he's backing him up in the post. Gots into Abaji. The front rim. And the rebound falls to Shannon. They've, they've decided they're going to play individually. They're big. They're going to play together right now. McCormick certainly has Azabuki with two fouls. You can feel, looking at the body language and looking at the situation, they're not going away. These Red Raiders are not going away. They're going to scrap, they're going to fight, and they're going to claw. Kansas, who played so well in the first seven, eight minutes, they really did back down for them. A lot of teams are going to back down. Technically tomorrow, but I guess later on tonight at 3.30 a.m. Eastern, 12.30 a.m. Pacific on ESPN and the ESPN app. It's the men's championship at the Australian Open. Number five, Dominic team against number two, Novak Djokovic. Team is looking for his first major. While the defending champ has won this event the record seven times. And Djokovic looking for his 17th Grand Slam title. 3.30 in the morning. I'm going to get a little nap after the game. Perfect. And I got to get up and watch. Djokovic is closing the gap on Rafael and on Roger. You know, he may catch both with Grand Slams. Nobody talks about him. He may catch both. He is some kind of tough, toughness about him. 
Can you believe, though, that Federer is still performing at the level he's performing at his age? It's amazing. It he's so special. If the goal for Texas Tech was to at least get it to single digits, they've already done that with under nine minutes to go on a half. And it gets a little closer as Shannon knocks one down. I think Shannon's got scored a building. He's a driver slash out of Chicago. They got a nice future, man. They got a great recruit coming in. That's going to help them. Amari Burnett. Old school floater from Devon Dotson. And he'll go to the line. As that foul will be called on Sabrasov. Andre Sabrasov played for Russia's under 18 team in the European Championships. His first job was a busboy. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, Mr. Shannon. Chris Beard, rather. I'm talking to, what is the Shannon? I'm looking at Shannon's name. Chris Beard was a busboy. I was talking about yeah. Andre Sabrasov, and but, you went to Chris Beard, yeah, and then, yeah. 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 I got caught in the Dick Vitale yeah. whirlpool there. I know, unbelievable. Yeah. Hey, you got to bail me out there. But <laughs> bottom line is, it was a red lobster. Now we got all red lobsters. But, you know, my first job, you kidding me? I used to work at Mondell's. I worked in the produce company. My name was the way. If you came in, you cherries, your apples. Really? Kind of, yeah. Bananas. I, I used to eat all the profits. <laughs> oh, wow. I like the patience of the boys. They didn't panic when they went down a bit early in the game. They have not panicked at all. Clark. Oh. Nick Clark Bajic. Baji getting it strong first half. Clark's playing with a sore ankle. He turned his right ankle against West Virginia in their last game, and he doesn't look quite as explosive as his normal self would be. You know, you've been talking about teams facing tough, tough schedules in terms of spurts. They face Kentucky, West Virginia, and now Kansas. I mean, those are three tough, tough opponents. That'll make you grow up. He's got great ability. He's a talented player. He's the highest recruit they ever had coming to Texas Tech. And that'll be next year. It'll be the kid, Namari Burrett, will be the tough one, will be the highest rated player ever to play at Texas Tech.
Michael Schusen, Dick Vitale, Chris Budden. Dick takes us inside the play. Well, take a look at that sixth number. <coughs> it's going to become prevalent, so the clock will be as well. Here we go. Let's go. <coughs> Sharing the ball is one. Is down in the post, two. And bring back three in a reverse. Penetrate, kicks it out, four, five, and then dump it inside, six and oh, 12 seconds left on the clock. They did that 12 seconds. That is called offensive efficiency at its best. Remember this, Texas Tech was down 17 to two. That's 15 point deficit. Take a look at the clock now, man, down four. Norman Dale would have been proud of that possession as Moss lines up a three. That's off the front rim. He saves it. Right to hold the field. That's his Shabazz Ramsey. Mike Moss is trying to shoot him to three. Came from Iowa. They're going to get him ready to make some shots. He's capable. Get those ball screens. There's that ball screen up on top. Release from it. Abaji on Ramsey with five to shoot. Ramsey tied up by McCormick and draws a foul. He's strong with the ball. Especially well, he has for a way, freshman. He has a way of getting in the lane and drawing contact. And that's what he did right there. Now that's the second on McCormick. Last couple of games, Bill Self has been forced to go with a smaller lineup because he didn't have McCormick. So when Azabuki would get into foul trouble, they had to go with five smaller players. We'll see what he does here with McCormick with two fouls. Looks like he's going to stay on the floor. And this week, our NBA Saturday primetime matchup, the Eastern Conference battle between Joel Embiid and the Sixers and Kemba Walker and the Celtics. Our coverage begins with the jump at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC and the ESPN. Joel Embiid obviously played here, was injured a great deal in his career. You know, really, here's where a kid like Silvio De Souza could become an important player today. He's been suspended for 12 games. I hope that it takes advantage of the opportunity to remain playing. I know I was kind of strong <coughs> with my commentary, but I'm glad he's going to get a chance. He seems very generally sorry for what happened and apologized for the positive man. Aji could hit from point blank range and a chance for Texas Tech to tie or take the lead once down 15. Pulling the string with Shannon, came up short and commits a foul on Garrett after the miss. Yeah, not a good play right there. This beard. Let him know, but he's a diaper dan. He's a freshman. Getting acclimated to playing at a pace like this. Well, he's going to go have a seat yep. next to the coach. <laughs> well, you can Get see that ball. coming. He was not happy with the shot, and he's not happy with the play after the shot, the foul. Both teams will shoot free throws the rest of the way here in the first half. Both are out of fouls to get McCormick in the post. Back to Dotson. That's off the top of the backboard. Over the backboard, according to Keith Kimball, grazed the shot clock, but now Ray Natilli's going to say, and it looks like Jamias Ramsey may have gotten a piece of the Dotson shot. So because he got a piece and it went out, they're going to give the ball back to Kansas, but now they have to run the shot clock back down to 16 seconds. with Garrett. What a big play. Little things like that change the complexion of a game. Marcus Garrett, shooting one. Garrett can't convert. So it's a four-point KU lead. <laughs> These five minutes big to Texas Tech. They got to go in strong at the half. They can't allow a Kansas spurt like early in the game. The shot fix certainly seemed to draw some contact. Wow. Oh, he got a 
Cut that off. Garrett is fouled by Holyfield. Tell you what, I love Garrett. He can play for me any day. He plays hard. He attacks. Whenever he sees an opening, a scene. I mean, just does everything a coach wants a player to do. So cerebral on the court. That's the second foul on Holyfield. And there's a chance that Marcus Garrett could end up taking over the point guard spot for Devon Dotson if Dotson goes to the NBA next year, which you have to think he would. Tested the waters this year and decided to come back to Kansas at the end of May. He had been 50 50 to go to the NBA. Really, this whole roster. That Bill Self has put together came together in late spring in April say early May at the end of last season I don't think he had any clear picture as to what kind of a team he was going to have this year but ended up getting Christian Brown and Tristan and Aruna to come in as freshmen and Yudoka Azubuki uh, and Devon Dotson both bypassed the NBA you got Isaiah Moss to come in late as a grad transfer. Well, next year he also has a they got Tamari Burnett coming in, and they're going to have a kid coming in. Bryce Thompson, who's a tremendous player. They will never be short of talent in Kansas. That is never. Shot clock down to 10 for Texas Tech. Patience right here. They need a good shot here. Tyler Edwards, a little head fake. Oh! Well, he really, you could see his potential last year. He had 11 points in the game against Virginia, but he lost that heartbreaker. And Tony Bennett and his kids, man, a year later, what a difference a year makes, doesn't it? When you look at Virginia. McCormick for the baby jumper. McCormick giving him some good, solid minutes. The defensive play, then comes back with a little 15 foot jump shot. There's a lot of pride on the floor. You can feel the pride. Cormick rebounds the Ramsey miss. Marcus Garrett comes up with a lift. Yeah, Dotson attacks the goal. Soft off the window. Blocked by Ramsey. And that's Fulton. There's no doubt about that. Now you see these next four minutes. It's up to seven. You gotta really, really try to eliminate that spurt that Kansas is going for. He's grabbing his ankle. So the freshman back on. Christian Brown re-enters the game. Tristan Anaruna in as well as Garrett sits down. And McCormick goes to the bench as well. So a small lineup on the floor now for Kansas. And there's Chris Clark to take advantage without McCormick or Asabuki in the game. Well, Clark did a great job of penetration and finding his open teammate. Oh, nice spin. Spin move. Oh, spin. The ball dots it with a high low look. That's it. That's a big time move right there by Mr. Dotson. He's a big time PTP. Solid goal play. Clark. Offensive foul. Use the left arm to hook his way. I think it's getting a little danger time right now. A little danger time for Texas Tuck. What a move by Dotson and ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66 proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. This transition and the NBA is your goal and it happens that you make that move will education still be part of your plan oh definitely definitely I always want to be a well rounded basketball player and a well rounded person uh, so I think that if I do make this jump I definitely want to get my degree Thanks Thank a lot. And I told you yesterday, I'm biased. I want to call your games <laughs> in college. Wait for that NBA college. <laughs> okay.
if you make the transition and the NBA is your goal and it happens that you make that move, will education still be part of your plan? Oh, definitely, definitely. I always want to be a well-rounded basketball player and a well-rounded person. Uh, so I think that if I do make this jump, I definitely want to get my degree. Thanks Thank a lot. And I told you yesterday, I'm biased. I want to call your games <laughs> in college. Wait for that NBA college. <laughs> Boy, for Dick Vitale, hard to believe. That's 24 years ago. And then what happened this week? It's just hard to believe to comprehend that he's no longer with us. Just breaks my heart. It brings me to tears, to be honest. Every time I see him, I think what we're going to miss is the second phase of his life would have been even better than what he did in basketball. He's already showed examples of that. Winning the Oscar like he did in the animation of Deer Basketball. He just, he loved being with kids. He brought so many smiles to kids' faces. He really, he know how to inspire and motivate young people. Thurman Munson at that. And when you're a little kid and you hear that one of your idols has passed away, you think of that man as a player. And I'm sure if I was a teenager and I heard the news about Kobe Bryant this week, I would have thought of him as a player. Now, and this is you with Kobe and your grandsons, this, this is how I think of Kobe Bryant because now I'm a father. We all kind of look at it through our own prism. And the first thought that I had was, 13-year-old daughter, the other children on the flight, dads with their kids. That, that's the part that I, I just let's, can't get over. Let's not forget the other people who are still alive. Yes. This beautiful daughter, Gigi, and also the seven other um, people that lost their lives. And heart goes out for all of them. But Kobe smiled. He said that smile. That was his smile every time he had kids with them. That was at Madison Square Garden. He thought I was doing the game. He said to me, I went back there, and I asked him if I could bring my grandkids. Are you kidding me? Jemias Ramsey told me today, I hate that it took his death for me to remember what a great player he was. But my generation grew up watching LeBron James, so the respect that they've now from the media coverage from everything we learned about him as a family man has really opened the eyes of these younger players. Tell you one thing, Kobe would have jumped up big when he saw Ramsey hit that three. Two on one. And Ramsey oh. tries to throw it up the alley oop and hits the side rail. That was a tough, tough play for Ramsey to make. The pass was not on target. Ramsey's a special player, man. You gotta remember, he's a freshman. You can't teach some of the things he can do. He's already got 14 here in the first half. Every time it looks like Kansas is ready to put the knockout punch, they come back, they fight, they scrap, they crawl. That's all a reflection of Chris Beard. So you talk about Brown, they've been real contributors since that suspension. Closing in on the Jeep halftime report with Reese, Lafonso, and Seth. The Badgers taking on the number 14 ranked Spartans. And a couple of top 10 teams go down in the Big East. So a lot of college basketball to talk about less than a minute from now on the Jeep halftime report. That was a big win for Wisconsin. They've been really flooded with controversy. Their leading scorer left. And there was all kinds of controversy in the way he was being treated by the coaching staff. And the best thing that could happen for Coach Guard was getting that win today over Michigan State. Eight to shoot. Moretti behind the back. Five on the shot clock. Picks up his dribble. And hands it out to Holyfield, who can't knock down the jumper. Oh, what an effort. rebound by Benson. What an effort by Benson. That was a tremendous effort to get that ball back and give him another opportunity. Ball screen. Ramsey, again the shot clock winding down. Over Moss. And now a chance for Kansas to hold for one. Had a chance there to cut it to lead. Seven to five. Dotson fouled by Moretti. Could be a four point turnaround, not making the most of the last possession. To go up by nine. They were down 17 2 to start the game. Got it within two. Got it within two. But that record we talked about earlier. Bill Self's record here 258 14. Bob is unheard of in 17 years. And we're not talking about Cupcake City. They play some quality big time teams here. 
great fans. I think the two best fan bases in all of basketball were the passion and pride we saw last night at dinner at the 715 we went to eat at. The people in there just so enthused about Kansas basketball. I would say Kansas and Kentucky. Their fans have such passion and pride about their teams. Less than five seconds to go in the half. Here comes Ramsey with a head of steam. Plenty of time to get a shot off. Floats one up. A little too strong. And it will be a nine-point lead to the Jayhawks at halftime after they led by as many as 15. Time for the Jeep halftime report. Reese, the Fonz, and the coach. They loosen it up a little bit, too. It will create more space for driving. This we, guy in front of me, Abaji, played really well. And we talked about the fact that Texas Tech is a very mentally tough team. To be down by 15 at the start, to have Kansas then stretch the lead back to nine after they got it as close as two. Is the glass half full or is the glass half empty for Chris Beard after that first half? Well, we're going to find out right now, but I think when you look at Chris Beard's club, they're not going to go away. They're going to keep challenging and challenging. You know, I think Kansas played well in spots here. This is the runner to open up the second half. Hudson's quickness really created a problem with Chris Tucker down on foul. He's a real control about trying to contain his quickness to the basket. McCormick came a little late for the block shot, which was a big play. They are going to lay it by the other end. He turned around to be a three-point play for Gavin. Holyfield with a shot fake goes right around as a bookie and gets an easy layup. Oh, that was a terrific play right there. I mean, he just went right to the basket. Triple threat position, give a little fake, first step, and he goes to the basket. Nobody rotated over. Usually our defense gives help because the ball is the most dangerous thing on the floor. Azabuki in the post. Yes. That's why he leads the nation. Field up the center. He scores around that basket. Lots of dunks in his career. Last year, he's at, you know, prior to him being injured and Vic on the court, they were number one in the nation. Holyfield goes at Azabuki again, sets up Moretti. And Moretti picks up his dribble. Shot clock down to seven. Good recovery by Kansas defensively. It's Ramsey. He's going to have to throw a switch up. Instead, it's Ramsey. Edwards. That's off the front rim. No good. Saved by Shannon. And it's off right. Let's head over to Chris. Well, Bob, to answer your question, Chris Beard was half empty, at least in his conversation with me. He said, I feel like our guys didn't show up. We didn't want to play defense today. He said, during that run where they were able to crawl back down 15 points, we got three stops in a row. That allowed our momentum on offense. He said, this is going to be a game of runs. He's he really is, and he knows that defense plays a final role for their success. He's just a guy who believes in it, preaches it, and he teaches it. That's been a roller coaster at times this year for the Red Raiders as they opened up, at least in conference play, with a win over Oklahoma State. But then it's ping ponged back and forth. They're four and three. And this is probably, as you said, to start Dick, one of those litmus test games where. This might be the test as to whether or not they're still going to be in the Big 12 race at the well, end of the year. If they don't win this game, it's pretty tough. We're going to try to catch Baylor. And here, Baylor's defense is off the charts. And you start going down four games. That's a real tough number to catch. But, you know, let's face reality, though. Look what he lost from last year. You know I mean? He lost the kid to Rico Owens, who's a tremendous shot blocker. And then he lost Culver, who's the sixth pick of the draft. I mean, come on. He lost a lot of guys. Offensive rebound, Azabuki, and he goes down. Azabuki lost a lot of weight, really physically got himself in great condition. Hold in that right arm. He has had wrist issues in the past that have cost him the better part of entire seasons. And that is not what Bill Self wants to see, as Kansas, if they pull off this win, will stay within a half game of Baylor for the top spot in the Big 12. You asked earlier, you know, about the fact that Texas Tech, this loss, if you're four and four and loose here, I mean, you're really out of running, really, to win and defend the title. I mean, I think one of the most unbelievable records in all the sports is winning 14 consecutive titles in terms of the Big 12. When you think about the magnitude of that, that is unbelievable to do that against top notch competition. I don't think we'll ever see that in a power conference again. Push off on Abaji is his second. By the way, a little scoop for you. 
I want to hear a scoop. Zags are getting beat. Oh. They were down eight at the half to San Francisco. Play without Chile, who was injured that Junior's ankle in his last game. That's a big player to lose for the Zags, and they seem to lose him for long stretches at times. Yeah, he can make shots, man. He, he sure can. can. Already, tough shot. And Azabuki's got the rebound. Nice steal by Reddy. takes it back. Finally gets a bucket. Nice little, nice little anticipation. You know, he's like their leader, their catalyst guy. So they've got to see him and feed off him, making a good play. Abaji's pass deflected. Azabuki recovers. <laughs> Offensive Great foul on Azabuki. That's his third. Number three, he was caught up in the air. Frustration. Frustration doesn't want to go to the bench. Knows he's heading to the pine. I don't want to be an assistant coach. I don't want to sit next to Coach Self. I don't want to be an assistant. I want to play. I want PT. I want playing time. There's Mr. Azabuki with the good catch. There's the goal. Oh, oh, he's one of the five big guys in basketball post players in the game. There's no doubt about it. So he sits down, as does. Abaji and Dicky V, you got your big man on campus. He's at the top of the list. Yeah, they're low post guys. You know, Richards, Garza, Carey, Tinkle. It's not in any order. I'm going to tell you right now, Luca Garza is going to make a serious threat for National Player of the Year. Not just Big Ten, National. That's how good. I got the left to Drizel the other day. His son coached Luca in high school. Oh, he can't make those kind of turnovers to come back. That's a bad turnover. Johnson can't connect from the corner. They're running the game. Every time it looks like kids are going to put them away, they just keep fighting, fighting. It reminds me of something like, you know, Frazier and Ali. Keep going at it, baby. Keep going at it. shot at the rim, though, erased by McCormick. McCormick's really giving you positive minutes, Bob. Came back from the suspension. He's got a couple of good block shots. Can't knock down that elbow jumper, though, as Moretti comes the other way. They're going to set a screen. I want to see Moretti shoot a three. They get up in his grill. They want to drive more than they want to shoot a three. He's 0 for 2 from behind the arc. 3 for 8 from the field. Here's a 3. And now he's 0 for 3. He must, three point he must have hurt me. At least he shot it. It didn't go in. McCormick oh, nice spots. He's going back door. Blocking foul is called. So score the bucket. What about the chance for a three point play? What about the pause, positive contribution to the corner? That pass he just made. He put that like a guard, man. He delivered the run perfectly. Take a look at this. Wow. He put that on the money. What a great, great pass.
You're looking at the best player in college basketball. Sabrina, Sabrina. I just want to be the best. A great atmosphere, and we're pumped to have it for you. Can't miss television. That is the definition of Big Monday, as Sabrina Ionescu is going to take nearly a triple-double average for Oregon into that matchup with UConn. She's the women's basketball dodge she's doing there for the Dallas Sun Mavericks. It's unbelievable. She's a tremendous talent. People, you want to see her play. And she's going to face, you know, a team that's going to be so well coached and well drilled. She has such a tremendous admiration and respect for Kobe Bryant. Quite her eyes out when she heard the news because she and Kobe have met several times. What a tremendous, tremendous talent. And she said she's dedicating this season to his memory. Possession. She's going to get some score. They made two threes this far. They made 11 against West Virginia. There's an NBA triple knocked down by the freshman, Jamias Ramsey. Ramsey, Ramsey. 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 I'm going to tell you, he's got stardom all over him because he can score in a variety of ways. Mid-level, long range, around the baseline, driving the basketball. He's got 18. Dotson on the drive. No good. And then a foul on McCormick going after the loose ball. Three on his third. Three on McCormick. How about that? So now Bill Self has a decision to make if he wants to leave McCormick on the floor. Looks like he will for now. He was really upset with how his team wasn't able to protect the rim when they had to go small after Azubuki picked up two in the first half. There's Ramsey with the ball. He wants to be captain of America. He makes some threes and drives. He could be. He could be. Ready for three. I just get done telling you they only made two threes. They knocked down two in the last minute. You're a good coach. Cleveland. Uncle Mo's got the people that love it going wild. Uncle Momento. They love it down 11. We're back in again, they said. So it'd be a major road win if they can steal this. Garrett. Foul. It's going to go against Connor Edwards. It's his second. Edwards, a veteran from last year, got a lot of new players, already a veteran. Texas Tech now four for 13 for three-point land, but they've made their last two. So after a two for 11 start, a couple of triples to get them within three, but Garrett stretches the lead to four. Garrett's one of those guys you just love having on your team. He just does all the things that lead to winning. Buy on a loose ball, get the pass to the right person. He's a positionless player. He's a guy who just played. Put him on the floor and he plays. He played. had an ankle injury last season, missed five games in early February, and was really never the same the rest of the year, and still was a Big 12 all defensive team selection because Bill Self puts him oftentimes on the toughest check that the other team brings into the gym. He's just one of those guys. He's got the length that we like in players. The long, long lead span. He's matched up with a guy that can play right now. That's like a match. Garrett defensively against Ramsey. He's a good, solid offensive player. Don't try to take him the hub. There's a switch and a double up on him. Ramsey oh. lost his foot. And his toes hit the end line. And he's got to be careful trying to do too much by himself. He's got to learn to get the ball away from the double team. It's part of the growing process as a player. He's got a lot of things you can't teach. Just steps out. Now he knows this is set, man. He knows where his teammates are. Great awareness. Look at the vision of backdoor cut without the ball. So many kids don't know how to play without the ball. 
those dangerous guys that guy went off the ball. A lot of guys play the ball tough, and once the ball's out of their hands, they lose sight of where the player is. McCormick, deep post position. Comes up short. Texas Tech trying to make it a one possession game again. A little under seven minutes gone by here in the second half. I'm telling you, I'm so impressed with the resiliency of this team at Texas Tech. A lot of teams are going to over the way Kansas came to play here today. Kansas started the game 17 to 2. Oh, here's Moss. Short McCormick. Well, that was a big time rebound right there by McCormick. And McCormick draws the foul. They're going to say that only undercut him trying to box him out. He was a foul all American. Andre, try to box out. You go as you get Oh wow. 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 That's a tough one if you're Clarence not only. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. Come on, the zebra blows the whistle again. <laughs> 12.57 to go in the game, and an interesting move here by Bill Soft. Up five with the ball, he goes back to Azabuki. He's back in with the three fouls. He's going to rotate both guys with three. He's going to play them like a platoon system. Dotson, yes. Uh, Dotson, he knows how to lay it on that glass. John Woody, the Wizard of Westwood, 10 national titles. UCLA would love that kid. He used to teach on the angle, lay it on the glass. That's Nick Vontel, I'm Bob Schusen. Chris Budden with us here at the Fog as well. Oh, slipping on that side. Oh, traveling is called on Terrence Shannon. Two possessions now. They're slipping on their drives. And every time it looks like it was the nine, the seven, they creep back. They creep back. Can they continue that? It's like a fighter, man, taking left, rights. Remember Chuck Webner? Years ago to Bayon Mola, he got left, rights, and he kept battling back, battling back. I'm from Jersey. That's right here, Jersey guy. The Bayon Jersey guy. Ramsey deflects it, Moss recovers. Moss dangerous shooting the three. Another sloppy pass. Dotson bows him out. Moss pulls up. Got him. He shoots it off. He played with Luka Garza, and he played with the Garza that's playing now for Iowa. Trying to catch some of the hardest workers you ever have a coach. Tough shot by Ramsey. Looking for a foul, no call. Here comes Dotson. Great play by Shannon, sagging back on defense. Well, he in front of Abaji and got the steal, anticipated that pass. Yeah, he did great anticipation. Anticipated that, read it all the way. Could have won double. Oh, they just hit foul already. They missed that goal. They grabbed Moretti. Oh. Garrett the rebound off the Holyfield miss. Oh, Moretti tried to make a cut. They literally grabbed them. And no whistle. Come on. Crossover by Garrett. Fouled by Avery Benson. Kansas leads 57-48. Under 12 minutes to go. Here in Lawrence.
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Bob Shoes and Dick Vitale, Chris Bunn back here at Allen Fieldhouse, better known as the Fog. And there are some great places to watch college basketball in this country. This is certainly at the top of the list, but Dickie V, how about this list? Well, certainly, Rupp Arena, great, great place right there. You talk about the sacks, who, by the way, are losing today. And then Assembly Special, we're going to be there next week, Purdue and Indiana. What a rival Indiana got beat today. They're on the 500 now in the Big Ten. So that's going to become a major game for our Chandler's kids. Got beat by the Buckeyes today, who needed to win now. Good job by Holyfield, the front house of Buki. But he and Terrence Shannon both collide out of bounds. I think Holyfield saying, I wanted you to stay on the floor so I could save it to you. Did a great job of denial right there, Holyfield. Came from the program. He faced them two years ago when they had played against them in the NCAA tournament. You know, Chris Beer went to the Elite Eight two years ago and then last year to the final game, to the final minute. I mean, that baby went in. I think it was short and better. It's a good fight. As a bookie, strong rebound over the top. But Moretti runs down the loose ball in the corner. I would challenge as a bookie with those fouls. I would challenge him. He's going to bump it back away. Get hold of some touches in there. He's quick with the ball. Comes up to set the screen, and now Ramsey has Azabuki caught on a switch. Azabuki gave him room, yeah. and he missed the jumper. Those teams now go to the switch. They don't switch as much when you look at Kansas. They switch almost on every play when you talk about. Texas gets going downhill. Euro step and hit the other side of the backboard. Yeah, he was trying to get five points on that play. Shannon goes past Asabuki and scores. You can see why he had a 20 point game against West Virginia. The kid's got some great scoring ability. Drive, drive, and drive. He has a motor, baby. Every time it looks like the Jayhawks are going to knock him out, they just keep fighting and fighting. They need some stops, though. Down seven. A a double team. Out. Here's Abaji. Eight to shoot. Asabuki. Across the lane, short. Aaron Shannon's got the rebound. Good, re good offensive possession right there. Just get a little short on shot as a weekend. See, I would bring the ball out the hole for them drive with the basketball against as a weekend. I bring him out, take the ball screen, step away, get it, bring it back to him. There, bring it back. Holyfield for three. Thank yes. You. Thank you. You're a good coach. Oh, thank you. For the here at least. They're back in again. He's being, baby, fear the beer. And this guy's unbelievable. These kids never, ever quit. They play the game the right way, hard.
Well, shoes and Dick takes us inside the play. Probably all inside the play right here. You're going to watch Isaac Luka try to post up. Freeze it. Freeze it. Look at this here. Look at the distance he is. Timing when you get the ball to your post guys is essential. It was too late they got him to basketball. Had him. Great angle with him. Now there's all kinds of help going to come down. A little short on the shot. Time. The best I ever seen feed in the post played for Syracuse. Pearl Washington. Oh, man. God bless him up in heaven. Maybe rest in peace. So sad that he went so early to cancer. Well, you even coached in the NBA, and I remember talking to Lafonso Ellis about this, working games with Fonz as well. And I asked him, what was the biggest difference as Garrett goes to the goal and gets met by Holyfield? Biggest difference between college and the pros. He said the pros, 24-second shot clock, pro basketball, NBA smarts. We knew exactly what the matchup was that we wanted to try and exploit, and you get the ball to that matchup way faster than they do in college. Just that the recognition of what we want to get to has to be instantaneous. Well, about that. the skill of the players is well, Bob, and obviously, oh, there's a nice try. Just drop great by baseline Ellis. drive. Here come the Red Raiders. They don't go away. Oh, Chris Pierce clapping his hands. I love the effort he's making. He's on my team. And here come the Jayhawk fans. Dotson. Bullies his way to the goal. It's nice when you have a great player like that who can make the big play for you. Oh, we got a good one, man. Big 12 basketball. Some great basketball from Baylor, West Virginia. Ramsey lost it on the way up. I was so impressed with Baylor when we had him on. Their team defense, their execution. See, every time they get back, though, Kansas comes back with big plays. Just like that. Every time he gets down to two and it goes right back up. That's a sign of a quality team making big plays at the right moment. I love this. You kidding me? We get paid for this? This is great, man. What a great environment. Moretti, all the field, met by a bunch. Looked like they had a layup. Looked like it was going to be down to four. But Kansas says, no, no.
6-0 Kansas run. After Texas Tech pulled within two, they had a 14-4 run in the first half. But Texas Tech pulled within two, and Chris Budden with us here as well. And Chris, David McCormick has made an impact. really impressed him. Tell you one thing, Chris, he's also performed. His passing here in the second half has been brilliant. He's blocked some shots as well. He's been a real plus coming on that floor. Uh-oh, he can shoot it. He can shoot it. There it is. Are you kidding me? Saturday College Hoops here on ESPN. As soon as we're done, John Calipari and number 13 Kentucky will take on Bruce Pearl and number 17 Auburn in a sonic blockbuster coming up next and then later on tonight. Number nine Duke and Syracuse at the Carrier Dome. So we go from the fog to Auburn to the dome. It's going to be a fun rest of the afternoon and evening of college basketball on ESPN. And of course, you can see all of these games on the ESPN app. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Bruce Pearl will have them all fired up like the game day. They'll have that place rocking, Dan and Jane. The game will have a great time. Hey, Bill Self inducted in the basketball of fame. What a class. Yeah, Tracy McGrady, Rebecca Lobo, Muffet McGraw, Jerry Krause, Tom Jernstein from the NCAA, Mandy Jackson, ultimately owned the Globe Trust, and George McGinnis. Almost as good as the class I went with. Are you kidding me? Excluding me. I mean, Pat <laughs> Riley, Patrick Ewing, and are you kidding me? Patrick Ewing, Elijah Wan, Adrian Dantley. It's a lateral move from all those guys to you. That was the weak move. Gatman picked up his third foul in the end, and then comes back and scores at the other end. He's got 11. Stop, they're gonna make them get a score off that stop. Ramsey for three. Big shot, Riles on the triple. They're gonna call him big shot. They're gonna call him big shot. Captain America, what a top of dandy he is. Special. Next year, the kid coming in is even the biggest recruit, best recruit in terms of ranking that they've ever had in Texas Tech. They're gonna put that. 21 for Ramsey, the sixth time this season. He's scored at least 20 in a game. Eight to shoot for the Jayhawks. Yeah, big game against West Virginia as well. Couldn't stay in front of Gavin oh, back there. Yeah. Oh, speed. I tell you, Gavin and Dotson, the way they explode for the basket and get layups because of the first step and the explosiveness they have. Ramsey feeling it. Offensive rebound, Terrence Shannon. Shannon's a driver. I think he right now he can take ground. Instead, it's Ramsey who gets to the baseline. Steal by Dotson. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. Oh, it, but it ends up with a bodge. He looks like you'd be a halfback from Coach Miles here in the Kansas Jayhawks. You gotta get him over on the halfback. He'd be unbelievable. He's doing a good job, by the way, with this football program. Outdoor cut. Oh. That was right by Holyfield. Holyfield's a real good player. Edwards bounces one to Shannon, and he'll go to the line as Brown hits him at the rim. I'm going to tell you one thing. I wouldn't oh, want Texas Tech in the NCAA tournament. I wouldn't want them, my opponent. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Five Hour Energy Shots. Energy on the go.
make it easy to lose your way in the fall. 16,300 strong creates the perfect storm and the nation's biggest home for the village. So baby, all who Under four minutes to go at the five. Good luck, Texas Tech, with this atmosphere. Tell you one thing, this atmosphere is better than advertised. If you love college basketball, put it on your bucket list to get out of here to the five, get out to Campbell, get out to Rock. These are just incredible environments. No self, talk about a record. 15 seasons of Kansas. Unbelievable. He's coached 11 lottery selections. Unbelievable. That Andrew Wiggins was the first pick. In fact, the other first pick that was here as well was Danny Manning. 1988. Can never forget Danny. The amazing job he did to carry that team to the national title. Let's take a look at who is made of more. Brought to you by Guinness. And for Texas Tech, it's been Jemias Ramsey, the freshman, scoring 21 for the second consecutive game Wednesday night. He had 21 in a win against West Virginia, and he has been the most effective offensive weapon that Tech has had today. Yeah, you know, that's not against Cupcake City, man. They're going to run a full court trap right here. They got quickness in their traps, but Kansas is so usually well coached against the pressure. That's why Bill Self is such a winner. This team's always well prepared in every phase of the game. Great spacing, execution, efficiency. You know, he had four straight 30 game seasons. It's unbelievable. The most consecutive in NCAA history. Shot clock winding down. Lost it. Oh, uh, he's block. blocked. That is a shot clock violation. So it goes back to Texas Tech. Down by eight. Less than three and a half minutes to go. And Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. A must have for Big 12 basketball fans. The exclusive home for TCU Oklahoma State Wednesday at 8 Eastern. Plus Kansas West Virginia February 12th. Virginia back on February 15th to take on number one Baylor. Sign up today, ESPNPlus.com slash Big 12. Every possession so big now for the Red Raiders. Big. Holy field, a big three. Why not let him shoot a little more? They're not even guarding him. The big guys are playing off him, and he can make the three. I like Holyfield, man. He plays his heart. Spin move by Dixon. Are you serious? Every time they make a play, here comes the speed, the quickness, the explosiveness of Dotson. His stack is going up, up, and up. Ramsey answers for the three. Ramsey, I want to be your raging. Are you kidding me? What a future. Look at Chris Beer. I love this guy. Puts his heart and soul in. Look at the speed right here. Look at the change of direction. The spin. Said, try to guard me. No chance. No chance. So Ramsey says, you know what? You got your deuce, Dotson, but I'm getting free, baby, because I'm going free more. I'm going for the trifecta. You'd be a terrible agent. I know. All you ever do is talk about how we're doing these games. We should be doing them for free. I mean, you, <laughs> you'd be the worst agent ever. Uh, you really believe I think I should do it for free? I like that check they sent you. Oh, wow. Well, here's something that not only do you not do for free, but you shouldn't do for free because all of the money that goes into this project helps to raise funds for the V Foundation to fight pediatric cancer. Yeah, every dollar that we make goes absolutely to the V Foundation for kids battling cancer. That's why Mount Rushmore's in college basketball my 40 years, the best four coaches, players. Hey, Danny Manning's featured in there. Bill Self is featured in the book. How do you get so the book? Kansas people, just go to dickbytownonline.com and I will autograph it to anything you want. If you want me to say Kansas is the best program in the world, or Texas I Tech. Or Texas Tech, yeah. Bobby Knight, I'll be 
you see on the cover. The years did a great job at Texas Tech when he stepped in there after his Indiana situation. We're going to be down in Hoosier land. Can't wait for next week. Purdue and Indiana. And they both, they both need wins. Johnson behind the back dribble. That's it. And through. Oh, are you serious, Mr. Johnson? Are you serious? Come on, man. That's not serious. Now Rams is going to try to match him. Lost it. Fumbled out of bounds. That possession looked discombobulated from the start. Right, watch this right here. Now he's going to go around the back to get him a little space. And then he's going to explode. That's great body control. And the man, he's a master at using the glass. There's the diagonal pass against the pressure. Get the ball away from the trap. Garrett, finger roll. Can't pressure them. Can't pressure them. There were too many drivers, too many handlers. Can't not pressure them. They're too well drilled. They're in the right spots. Holyfield tries a three again. He's got another. Why not? Chris Beard will use Tech's final timeout here as the lead next again is down to five with a minute 38 to go. Look at that thing. Look at the intensity, the emotion. He's going to step away. So he steps back from the screen, and there he is wide, wide open. See, they're not challenging him at all. They're saying, shoot the three. And he's saying, okay, I will oblige you. 17 for Holyfield. He's got three triples in Sports Center tonight. After Duke Syracuse with Bucci and Anderson, they'll break down Sixers Celtics. Plus, we've got our crew in Miami, the very latest on the eve of Super Bowl 54. And inside this year's Pro Football Hall of Fame class, Sports Center after college hoops on ESPN and the ESPN app. Right, the BDBI, the Vital Ball Dome Index, tells us what. Chiefs Niners tomorrow in the Super Bowl. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Patrick Mahomes, man. I told the people last night wearing their Kansas City Chiefs shirts at dinner. I said, relax, relax. It's over. They should be prepared right now. Andy Reid, his speech, 38-24. Patrick Mahomes from Texas Tech will not let them lose. And you better believe there's something in common. All the Kansas fans and the Texas Tech fans are cheering for the Chiefs. Look at this spirit. Oh, man, is that spirit. I'm going to come here for a walk. I'm going to come here for a walk. That's going to be my part in this. This is just fantastic. Keep going up. Keep going up. At 82%, sixth best in the Big 12. But and that's, check that, that's the 16th foul. That's the last one they had to give. Can you imagine the tandem they were in high school? Dotson and Grant Williams inside and outside. Trying to play against them in high school. That's why they won state championships. Down in Charlotte. Corbin out the way. Steal by Holyfield. Holyfield did a great job at the dial. Stepped right in the passing lane. I think you're getting ready to make the three. He's been really quiet. Moretti goes around McCormick. Finds Holyfield in the lane. He lost it for the Falcon. Good call right there. He definitely got fouled. And that puts KU over the limit. That's Dotson's first. But that's team foul number seven on Kansas. Well, now you get down to a situation where free throws are a must right now. Good play on that line. Watch this. The ball goes into the lane. And he comes across his arm. Right 
to him. As soon as you reach in like that, the whistle's blown. Oh, it's such fun, man. Oh, it's such fun. I'm going to miss this later in life, man. This is so much fun. Later in life? What are you talking about? home for Holyfield, who has been nearly flawless in the second half. He's got 14 second-half points. Look at these two guys. And we knew it would be a chess match between oh, these two. Two winners, man. Two winners. You got one coach who's really embarking on the start of a great career. Another coach got a Hall of Fame career. He deserves making his feet. This kid has been working his heart out. One Play. possession game with 57 seconds to go. Gives some size up inside, but he doesn't back down. And that's all part of the personality of Chris Beard. And it's so tough this week. Look at Kansas. And that's Bill Self. He knows how to motivate, inspire. Kansas has two timeouts left. So now Bill Self will spend one here with just under 47 seconds to go. And Kansas will go to who here if you're Bill Self? Well, Kansas is obviously going to try to spread the court, use some of the clock, and then obviously a driving situation, hoping to get a deuce or hoping to get fouled. And go to the foul line on the other side, you got to come up with some big stops here. So you got to really zero in right now on Dotson and his penetration ability, which can create a nightmare for you. In fact, Coach told me on the phone yesterday, speaking to Coach Beard, he said, really concerned about the speed and the explosiveness of Dotson. And we have seen that. And now, what's the message from Chris Beard? Are you worried about defense? You're already spinning to if we get a stop. Here's where we're going offensively since they're out of timeouts. Well, you know, offensively, obviously, Ramsey becomes a key player in it. And if they don't guard Holyfield, they stay back there, big guy, let him shoot the three. Let him finish here. Big club basketball, some great basketball in the conference, no doubt about it. But I'm going to tell you, terrific. We saw Baylor last week, and now here. They have not backed down. They have come every time. Kansas has got that lead spurt. They've come back, but they've never been able to get over the hump. They've never led. Texas Tech, Kansas has led wire to wire. Let's see what happens here. As Garrett will track it down, 18 to shoot. He's got quickness too, this guy. He's got quickness. Taking some time out, so they want to drive the back. Oh, he's in. Can't score it. It's out of bounds, I believe, off the body. Well, here we go now. And a chance to tie his baby up with a three ball. Still a lot of time, though. Yeah. I wouldn't think you're looking for the three here for Texas Tech unless it's wide open. Yeah, unless it's wide open. You don't necessarily need the three. But if it's there, Texas got one timeout. Ramsey goes to the rim, lays it in, and makes it a one point game. What a drive by Ramsey. No more timeouts. Kansas has got one. Got to stay in front of Dotson. They want to get the ball on his hand so they thumb him up. Garrett stumbles across the midcourt strike. Dotson's got it. And it looked like they were trying to foul and couldn't. Now they foul him on him. And that might have been accidentally the right move for Texas Tech. He was protesting. He tried to foul Dotson. Dotson's an 82% free throw shooter. Instead, they've got a Baji who only shoots 70% on the line. To shoot the one one. Well, I see okay. we got a better one. The ball just got a nice stroke here tonight. He's been stroking the ball really well. Silent in the post. Will Bill Self call his final timeout if Abaji makes this free throw? Well, he's got to set up some strategy. Do you let them shoot the free? I wouldn't let him shoot the three. But there was a timeout right there, yeah. He's going to set up the strategy right now as to what he wants in terms of defensively. Get him down to five seconds. Don't let him shoot the three. What's the risk, though, that you run there? If you wait too long to commit a foul before the opposition shoots a three, do you get into that gray area where you might foul them in the end? of shooting a three. Well, you got to be careful of that, obviously. I can barely hear your question, but I know it's something about fouling on the three. I mean, it's echoing in my ears. The question is here. If they get him pressure a little bit, get him to take time off that clock. And the bottom line is, you don't want to foul unless you get it down five and under. If you're Chris Beard, 
Are you drawing up a play for a three? Or are you thinking, let's still try and extend this game, yep. get to the rim, and commit a quick foul, or maybe get a steal? I think right now he's thinking, if the three is available, we're going to shoot the three. Obviously, you get a quick layup under with less than... If you get the layup within 10 to 14 seconds, take that layup, then you try to steal it foul. We play the whole kids on the staff. Five, four, and situation. Somebody that's this play has no idea of the time to score in the situation. These coaches have coached their hearts out. These players have played their hearts out. We have not complained about the officials, and the fans have been absolutely sensational. Pressure. Take time off the clock. Eight seconds to go. Three. Ramsey's going to go to the rim. It's blocked by Gallagher. 6.3 seconds to go. Texas Tech in the second half. As a team, they are 7 of 12 from three-point line, and you have to think they're thinking of three now. you got to think three right here, and if you're Kansas, I don't know if I'd let them shoot that three. I would not let them shoot that three. Ramsey, he's in two-point territory. He'll put it up. They were looking for a foul call. Abaji comes the other way, and Kansas survives. Texas Tech showed heart time and time again in this game, but the Red Raiders just couldn't get over the top. There's a reason KU is Kansas at home. Oh, tremendous heart, tremendous heart. A lot of tough defense and great, great play by Dotson. Here goes Ramsey to the basket. There's the block defensive, says on the off.